Hello friends, welcome to Core Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So in this video, we are going to study how to create a Web API application using Visual Studio 2019. Okay, so let us start. So first of all, you have to say create new project. So here I am using Visual Studio Community Edition. So first of all, you have to make sure that you have selected a language C Sharp. So from this drop down, you can select the language and the next thing is that you have to select the project type. Here we have ASP.NET Core Web App also, but we are going to study ASP.NET Web API, not Core Web API. So you have to search this option. So here also there is ASP.NET Core Web API option. So do not choose this. So you have to choose this one, ASP.NET Web Application, okay? And you can see this here also, recently used project templates appear here in left hand side. But if you are opening this first time, then it, then it might not appear here. So in that case, you have to search it here. So just click over here and say next. Now, the next thing is that you have to specify the location, project name and solution name. So let me browse the location. Here I have already created Web API folder and in code folder, I am going to store my solution. So say Web API Basics. Okay. So I will keep the same name of a project name as a solution name and you can change it also. So basic solution. Uh, just observe the framework. Uh, we are currently using 4.7.2 framework. Now let us say create. Now in this next window, it will allow you to select which kind of application you, you are going to create. Now in this next window, it will allow you to select which kind of web application you want to create. So your application can be empty or it can be a web form, ASP.NET web form or ASP.NET MVC application or web API application or single page application. So here I am choosing empty option and from right hand side, I will select web API. Okay. And time being, I am clearing this option configure for https to avoid some unnecessary uh, messages okay so because we are using it for learning purpose that's why i'm clearing this option but uh, whenever you are going to create any real time project just think about this option okay now the purpose of choosing the empty application is that we can start everything from the scratch otherwise what happened basically visual studio gives you one template and from that template you can uh, and that template actually contains too many things which are not necessary in the initial phase so that's why i'm avoiding this option but you can try for this option also okay so i choose empty and then after i selected web api and then after i clear this checkbox also that is configure for https that is for secure http say create now it may take few seconds to create an application. Okay. Now your application is created. So if you are familiar with ASP.NET MVC, then it is pretty much similar to that. So as you can see here, we have a controller folder. We have a model folder. We have a global ASX file which is always there whenever we are creating any web application in ASP.NET. Similarly, we have web.config file. So whatever is the global configuration, that is nothing but a common configuration for an entire application can be kept in web.config. So common events are there in global.asx file. Packages.config file contains all the packages that we installed in our application. Uh, currently controllers and models folder is empty because if you remember while 
creating this application we have selected empty option that's why this is empty we can add the controller and models to it and like asp.net mvc application we have app dot app underscore start folder which is having this web api config.cs file so all the web api related configuration will be put here for example routing related configuration is put here so this is one of the configuration some additional configuration can also be mentioned here so as we move ahead i make the things clear now the next thing is that as i told you it is very much similar to asp.net mvc so as we have a controller concept there and model concept there the same concept is applicable here so controllers will actually handles the http request and it will generate the response so that is the job of controller model you can say model is basically an object which represents the data and that data will be shared between http client and http server so basically whenever you are going to create a model in this web api it is going to be c sharp class so you might wonder that while studying the basic concepts related to web api i did one statement related to representation of resource means whatever data you are generating it can be represented in different different format like xml or json but just now i told you that here model is simple class and its object which can be shared or exchanged between http client and server so basically whenever we are implementing web api in dotnet it will be a plain class only but converting that object to json and xml format is totally a responsibility of asp.net web api a developer or programmer do not have to worry about it okay so that's it for this video from the next video onwards we will start exploring this thing in more detail thank you for watching